wished we had more time to spend with each other and build on this uh, relationship that we were planning on. I noticed, like, from your last boyfriend, he was in this in this industry or whatever, and you have, you know, friends in the industry or whatever. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored. And share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, the eyewitness that we know, you know, so far who said she was actually with Takeoff the night he was killed. She's looking a little bit shaky these days and we're going to tell you why. Now, if y'all didn't know... This is the same girl. Um, her name is Samantha. Um, if I'm not mistaken, her Instagram is the real Sammy underscore one. She's claiming to have DMs and um, text messages with takeoff, proving that she was actually with him the night he was killed. Now, it might not be, you know, and to anybody's surprise that that's what rappers do. You know, rappers they fly girls out all the time. She's saying that. Uh, he flew her out on the 28th, but she's making it seem like it's more than what it was. You know, she's making it seem like they was looking to be in a relationship <laughs> or so. You know, clearly delusional. But the part that I want to point out today is this, right? She claimed she was trying to get the story out for the longest. You know, she was reaching out to people. Nobody was hitting her back. She was reaching out to um, take off guys and eight, the, the friends that was around take off the night that she was there and she's saying that nobody's reaching back out to her now first and foremost that should be a sign that no one takes you as being this man's spouse or even girlfriend because if they did you know they wouldn't be treating her the way that they're treating her pretty much in a nutshell but i guess she's not taking that as an answer she's running with this clout i see on her instagram she's telling people oh uh, i'm feeling hurt and you know any negativity i'm blocking you whatever the case may be now, she went to a, a, a platform by the name of Adonis something. I forgot the name, right? And I watched the interview. During the whole interview, I was wondering why they were looking so weird, why they was looking so awkward. You know, you could tell it was heavily edited to where certain parts was clipped out and it just looked really weird. Now, as an interviewer, if you're interviewing somebody and they're telling you a story, nine times out of ten, you're looking them in their face. You know, you're looking them in their eye, you're making some type of eye contact. It's not weird, you know? But when you was watching these two, you know, the guy and her, everything seems weird. She's looking at him, she's staring at him, she's not really blinking, she's not really looking at the camera, she seems uneasy, and now we know why. So, in her story, she says that she met Takeoff in the studio when she was with her boyfriend. Now, come to find out, she said that her boyfriend name was Adonis, and he was in the music industry. I don't know what he did, whether he was a um, whether he was an engineer, a friend, who knows? But he was around the Amigos, and that's what made her be around the Amigos as well. Now, she also stated that she put a picture up tagging um Takeoff. And he responded in the DMs. However, we could clearly see that that was kind of false because in the DMs, it showed her actually hitting him first. But forget that part about it, right? Throughout the DMs, she's talking about this guy named Adonis. Adonis, how she's through with him. She found him cheating. And she's ready to be with Takeoff and have the time of her life. But come to find out, lo and behold, this is why they were acting the way they were acting during that interview. Because Adonis is the same guy that was actually interviewing her. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm telling you, the story gets crazy the more this rabbit hole goes down. I'm starting to think that any witness that was claiming that they was there or saying anything, they're fake. They've been put in place to put a narrative out there for the public to believe it. Now, I could go even deeper and say this, right? Maybe these people were put in place, you know, 
to carry out something a little more sinister than we know. And here's why, right? Not only do I feel they was clout chasing with the whole interview, um, because he tried to make it seem like he just know her from the way. Um, when they first started the interview, he said he just know her from around the way, and he's so appreciative that she would give him this interview. <laughs> you know, it seemed it, it, it seemed fake. But if he know that that was his ex, and not only is that his ex, from what I gathered from the Steve Wilco show, these two actually have a child together. Me and Adonis have been married for 11 months, but been together for six years, and we have a beautiful three-year-old together. Our relationship. You, you, you see how crazy it's getting? So why didn't he put that out there? Why didn't he mention that? Why did he try to keep that under wraps? But forget all that. Somebody brought it to my attention in our DMs via Instagram that these people were actually on the Steve Wilco show. So you, do you see what I mean? Like it's a whole bunch of clout chasing going on within these two people. So how do we know that what's going on with the whole takeoff? How do we know that the DMs are real now? How do we know that she wasn't put in place or signed by somebody to do exactly what she did and carry out her plan? And it sounds crazy, but when you go back to her story, she says this. She says the minute everything popped off with takeoff, when she was there and the, and the bullets and everything started flying, she immediately backed up, ran out, called the Uber, and instead of going to the hotel or getting in contact with anybody that she came with, she dropped everything, left everything in the hotel, and she went straight to the airport. And she didn't find out what happened to takeoff up until she was on social media and they said that he was gone. Come on. It doesn't make sense. Now, fast forward, seeing these two doing an interview together in which they don't even have no views. I mean, it's probably at like a thousand something views right now. But to think about it, if you're an eyewitness and you say you was dead, you got DMs, you got text messages, you was with takeoff. That interview should be doing thousands upon that hundreds of thousands of views easily. Because you're finally speaking out and you're finally on camera. But it's funny because I don't see not one picture she has with Takeoff. I don't see one picture she has with Takeoff. I don't see one picture she has close to Takeoff with them looking like they're together. Nothing. So, once again, the Steve Wilkos. Now, let's go to the... <laughs> we all know that a lot of these shows, these talk shows, whatever, it has a lot of paid actors, you know? Um, whether it's Jerry Springer show, uh, we go back to even Ricky Lake. <laughs> you know, um, Jerry Springer, a lot of these people be paid actors. We know that it's not real. So where do these two individuals come from? Was this a plan all along, um, meaning to get views or, or trying to clout chase or, or are they paid actors or who knows what they are? But seeing her and him on Steve Wilco's show, Let's me know that this is something that they do. You know, seeing her act like, oh my, it's all an act. You know, and then seeing the interview and actually finding out that these two actually dated before, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. And they tried to keep that under wraps. But it's kind of, it, it was in our faces, but I, I don't know. Anyway, y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel about this. I'm going to leave a link. So y'all could check out um, these two on the Steve Wilco show. I might put it in the video as well. I'm not sure because YouTube like to, you know, send copyright strikes and all that claims. And so I don't know, but um, we'll see when this video come out. But anyway, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.